dark, dark with me was about the back end of April. I was getting a lot of headaches. Previously, I was um, very lethargic. I was losing my hair. I had pins and needles in my fingers. Um, probably a bit ratty, mood swings, as such as that. But I thought it was just general life, go on with it. Also, I used to have a, I do get a lot of headaches, the pollen stress heads. And the back end of April, I felt like my eyes weren't working together too good. So I um, got my eyes tested there, I said they were fine. And then I had um, a really very bad headache. And that happened about Friday and the Monday. <coughs> I came to see Dr Green and he said to go to the eye infirmary. The previous weekend though I went to the Pitley Walk and they just kind of said it was migraines and that was it. But as the weekend got over I felt my eyes just was going to double vision. My eyelids started to droop. Went to the eye infirmary, checked, did various measurements and was in the eye infirmary over six hours getting checked over with this doctor and that doctor. And then they admitted me into Sunderland Royal because they thought I had um, either a stroke or maybe it's a tumour or something like that. So I was in hospital for over nine days waiting for an MRI scan. And as soon as that came clear, it was all, everything was fine. They discharged me with just painkillers and that was it. Said the, um, the neurologist will be in touch, but still this date, they haven't been. So I thought um, I'm going to see Dr. my old GP, Dr. Chandy, who I've been with all of my life to see if there's anything else that could be wrong with us. So I was discharged on the 8th of May, I came down to see Dr Chandy the 11th of May, did various blood tests and such, and by the Friday, it's come down, I think we've got um, a vitamin B12 deficiency. And since then I've been getting inje injections um, various times. I've been on about a month now, four weeks. And from then to now, my sight I think the previous when I left hospital, I was more or less confined to my bedroom with the dark and closed spaces with the bad headaches. Now I don't get, I very rarely get any stress heads as I call them. And um, my sight is loads, loads better. I was wearing a patch because I couldn't uh, really stand the daylight in my left eye. Now I've got the mesh over it, but I find that's quite irritating. So I think my eye is trying to get back to normal. So. When I'm in, once I'm in my own house, I walk around with no glasses on because I don't really need them. And I do feel like my eyes are kind of getting back to normal if they want to work together again. So I know I'm loads, loads better, and that's just from a month taking the injections. Yes, I'm more familiar with what Dr. Chan is doing at the moment, because um, if it wasn't for him, I think I'd be still in dire straits as such. I think I said it's getting, I would say it's 9 percent better now when we first came in. In one month? Yeah, within one month. You had the high definition as well, didn't you? Uh-huh. Like, the, just not the, 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 what it's like, when I wants to do that, me that I wants to do this. And now they kind of, that and feel it each day, they're kind of working together. Mm. But even with the daylight, I couldn't have it. I needed to, um, like saying, I was wearing um, a, like, um, an eye patch over it. And now I wear my glasses, but I find these that irritate me more. I just want to walk around with them. Um, no specs on. So I'm definitely on the end. It sounds excellent. Okay. That's really good. Thank you very much.